In this video I will show you which shortcuts you can use in MetaTrader 4 so you can navigate easier in MetaTrader 4 by using shortcuts on your keyboard or using hotkeys which are available inside trading platform. If you do not use these shortcuts in MT4 or MT5 you will need to use your mouse or your keyboard to get to desired function which sometimes requires more than one or two steps. To compensate that you can easily use keyboard shortcuts which will speed up the process of activating the function. Before we start with MetaTrader shortcuts I would like to remind you that if you are starting with the trading on the forex market you can use a free workshop that will show you which steps you need to take to start trading on the forex market. Check the link below this video in, this, in the description to watch the workshop where you will see which steps are needed to start trading on the forex market. Let's continue with the MetaTrader 4 shortcuts. First, I will show you which shortcuts there are inside MetaTrader 4 to use on your charts. To show you which keys I am using on keyboard, I will use on-screen keyboard from the windows so you can see which buttons I am pressing when I am showing you each shortcut from the MetaTrader 4. Let's start with the first one. It will be around the chart how you can navigate and move the chart for the left or to the right. For example, if I press the left arrow on your on the keyboard I will move the chart sorry I need to click on the chart first I will move the chart on the left side so it is moving step by step for several candles then if I click the right arrow I will move the chart to the right you can see it where each step is several candles move then if you want to move to the first candle on the chart which is totally on the left side, you need to click home button on your keyboard. When you click it, you will be redirected directly to the first candle on the daily time frame, which is currently active on the chart. So if you want to move to the left more, it's not possible because the MetaTrader 4 doesn't have any more data visible on the chart. If you want to get back to the latest candle, just click the button and on your keyboard. If you do not want to use arrows, which are for the left or to the right, to move with a smaller step on the chart, you can use page up and page down. Page up is moving the chart on the left, so you can use to move with a faster and a larger step to the left. And if you want to move to the right with a larger step, you use page down. So you can easily go to the left which is the total left as the end of the screen or the start of the chart or to the right side which is the end of the chart. Then you can use much smaller step than you have with a, for example with the page up or page down or with the arrow then you can move step by step which means one candle on each click. So for example if I click number F12 I will move to the right by one candle. I will increase I will sorry I will zoom in this chart so it is much easier to see which is the difference when I use an F12 button I will click again F12 and you will see that the chart is moving to the right by one step by one candle so if I want to move to the left side the chart I need to click shift and F12 then shift and F12 you can see the chart is moving one step, one candle to the left. So if I press F12, it will move to the right side by one candle. If you want to zoom in or zoom out the chart, instead of using your mouse and going up here in the quick access toolbar, you can use plus and minus on your keyboard. If I click the plus button, you will zoom in. If you click the minus button, you will zoom out the chart. So it is easier to use a keyboard buttons instead of using mouse click or and quick access toolbar. You can decide which is faster for you. Then if you want to change the outlook of the chart to change it from the candlestick to the bar chart, you can use combination of buttons. Click the alt button and select one, two or three numbers on your keyboard. If I click Alt plus 1, I will change to the bar chart. If I click Alt plus 2, I will change to the candlestick chart. 
and if I click the Alt and 3, it will move to the line chart. I will change back to the candlestick chart because it's easier to follow. If you want to change the cursor mode, which is now arrow to the crosshair, you can use Ctrl plus F and you will get crosshair mode on your mouse. If you want to activate a grid on the chart, you can use Ctrl plus G. If you want to add, deactivate the grid on the chart, just press again Ctrl and G. If you want to deactivate this option, which you have in the upper lef left corner of your chart, which shows you open high, close and low prices, you can deactivate that by using Ctrl plus H button. If you want to activate this function, just click again Ctrl and H. And here in the upper left corner, you will see how it disappears when you use this combination of keys on your keyboard. If you want to deactivate or activate these period separators on your chart, just use the combination of Ctrl and, and Y. And if you want to activate again, just use Ctrl and Y again. If you want to change the chart between these ones that you have already activated before, you can easily go through each of them just by using Ctrl plus F6. If you click again, Ctrl and F6, you will change the chart on your MetaTrader 4 platform. You can easily see that you are changing on each keyboard combination the chart here, which are available. So for example, if I click again, Ctrl and F6, I will change the chart to GBP USD. If I click again, Ctrl plus F6, I will get back to the gold GBP. If you want to see which objects do you have currently on your on your chart, you can easily do that by using a combination of Ctrl plus B. When you click this combination of the buttons on your keyboard, you will see all objects that you currently have on your chart. So you can click on them and delete them if you want, or just see which objects do you have currently on the chart and close the window again. If you click Ctrl plus B again, it will not close the window, but you need to use your mouse to close this window. If you create any object on your chart, for example, I will use horizontal line. And if you want to delete this object, just click the delete button. But first have in mind that you need to have selected this object to delete this object from the chart by clicking the delete button. And the delete button, if I click right now, I will delete this object from the chart. If you do not want to use a mouse button to activate, to select this object on the chart and then use the delete button, you can easily delete this last added object on the chart by clicking the backspace. So it is much easier to use backspace to delete the previously added object, the last added object on the chart, instead using the delete button, but first by selecting and then pressing the delete. If you use simply backspace on your keyboard, you will easily delete this one. If you have accidentally deleted the object from the chart, you can get back that object on the chart easily by pressing Ctrl plus C, which restores previously deleted object and restores only the last deleted object on the chart. If you have, for example, deleted two of objects on your chart one by one, for example, let's take this one, backspace, backspace, I will click Ctrl plus Z and again Ctrl plus Z, I will get back all objects that I have deleted. So it goes step by step, returning the objects that I have deleted from the chart. Now, if you use indicators on your chart, for example, I will use MACD and I will use RSI indicator. And if you accidentally change the height of one of the indicators, and if you want to get them back at the same height, you can simply use a combination of buttons on your keyboard, and that is Control plus A it will automatically change the height, so both of these indicators that are on the chart will have the same height. 
then if you want to see which indicators do you have currently on the chart you can use simply combination of control plus i and you will get a window of all currently indicators that are on the chart instead you instead of using right mouse button sorry just a minute i need to remove this one here it will be here instead using the right mouse button and then going to indicator list here in the options list and clicking on it you can simply use control plus i now if you want to open or close some of the windows that you currently have on your metastrade 4 for example market watch data window and everything else you can easily use also a keyboard shortcuts it is a combination of letters for example if you want to activate data window you can use control plus d and it will open data window here next to the other windows you have and also next to the chart if you want to close this window the data window you simply use again control plus d if you want to show terminal uses you use control plus t and if you want to activate again use the same combination so if it is already open at the terminal on your trading platform you can you can easily hide or close this window by using a combination control plus t if you want to close the market watch just simply click the control plus m then if you want to activate again the market watch window just click control plus m then if you want to open or close navigator window which is also on the left side just use control plus n then if you want to activate again a navigator window just click again control plus n if you want to open options window click the control plus o and you will get options which you can use here the tabs to activate or deactivate some of the functions if you want to close this window you need to click the x button on the upper right corner if you want to close the complete metastrade 4 platform you need to use alt plus f4 if you want to open again you need to click the metatrader 4 application on your pc we can continue with the next one if you click an f2 button you will get history prices for certain symbol which you have on your chart so you can easily download these prices for certain symbol and you can then make the analysis on your pc easily for example inside an excel or google sheets if you want to close this history center you need to click the x button on the upper right corner if you click an f4 shortcut you will get meta, meta editor where you can build some of the expert advisor which you can use in your trading if you want to close meta editor you need to click the x button in the upper right corner if you want to open tester window you need to use a combination control plus r button and you will see here a possibility to test any expert advisor directly on your chart here in an aside meta trader 4 so if you build with meta editor some of the expert advisor you can easily use this window tester window to test this expert advisor directly on your chart and see which results you would get i will close this one because i do not need the tester window right now if you want to get access directly to the chart properties you can do that by clicking an f8 button on your keyboard when you click that you will get properties of this chart where you can deactivate or activate some of these functions or also you can change the chart colors if you want to close this one you cannot you cannot use an f8 button again but you need to click the x button in the upper right corner if you click f11 button you will open a screen full screen mode just a minute i need to click to this chart and then click f11 you will open full screen mode where the quick access toolbar on the upper side and also on the left side where the windows are and also on the downside where the windows are located they will be closed if you want to deactivate full screen mode just click f11 button again then if you have 
an expert advisor attached to the chart, you can activate auto trading function by simply clicking the control plus E, control plus E and the auto trading function will be enabled. If you want to disable this auto trading, just click again control plus E, it will disable this function. Now, if you have some of the expert advisor attached to the chart, in my case, I have moving average expert advisor attached. You can get to their settings just by clicking an F7 button. Sorry, F7. You will get a new window where all the settings are, so you can change some of the settings or just check them. Close the window and there is one more option and that is when you click enter, you have here fast navigation box where you can enter, for example, W to change the time frame from the daily, which is currently daily, to the weekly just by pressing the enter button right now. You can easily see how it's changed. If I click enter button again, I will get here the navigation box and I can change, for example, to Euro USD symbol. I have currently GBP, so when when I click enter button, I will change the chart to the Euro USD. So with this fast navigation box, when you click the enter button, you can change the symbol or you can change the time frame. If you want to close this fast navigation box, you can simply click enter again. This is all from the MetaTrader 4 shortcuts. If you like the video, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and happy trading!